Welcome back to Living It Away. The Rainbow Wahina basketball team is back home after its NCAA tournament first round loss to third seed LSU. But the team made everyone proud, making its second straight appearance in the big dance by winning the Big West Conference tournament title. The first time that they have accomplished that in school history, they did it twice. We're so happy to have with us head coach Laura Beeman and senior and outgoing senior, who's actually a graduate student, Callan Spiller. Thank you guys so much for being here. The uh, season's rebounding machine. Yes? Yes, absolutely. You know, Callan's rebounding rate, which is the amount of times you go for a rebound, she was number one in the nation for a while. So wow. she really gave our team a good, good boost and had a little bit of a tenacity on the court for us as well as some leadership. We'll get to you in just a second. Coach, I just want to congratulations Thank you. from all of us here Thank at Living you. It Away and KHON. And I know <laughs> we had Alan Oshida up there with you guys uh, covering you and what a fabulous job he did. Um, let's talk about the the back-to-back -back, uh, tournament uh Big West tournament titles first. What an accomplishment. Congratulations. Just Thank tell me you. about what your overall thoughts on the season. You know, I don't know if it's hit me quite yet. Um, the way in which we won the tournament championship was magical. You know, we had to win an overtime game. Semifinal game was against a team that had beaten us twice. Yep. And then we get into the finals, down 13 at halftime, came back and won really on a last second shot. So don't know if it's quite hit me. Uh, what I will say, though, is this team has been unbelievably resilient from day one. Um, never give up attitude. The grind has been amazing. And how they've celebrated each other and played for one another has just been, for me, a humbling experience and maybe one of the, the most magical seasons in my career. Wow, that's, that, it is really amazing. And, and the proof is right here next to you. <laughs> yes. um, so awesome. Now that win in the tournament sent you to the big dance yes. uh, for the second straight year. And while it wasn't the result, man, what a, you guys started off really strong against LSU. You know, I think LSU was probably a one or a two seed. They lost late in their conference tournament, and that yeah. affected their seeding. Um, regardless, I thought the way we played was amazing. They had length. They had speed. They have one of the, the best post players in the country, um, and Angel Reese, and one of the top guards in the country. And I thought our kids just fought. You know, we were, it was David and Goliath, you mm -hmm. know, and unfortunately mm -hmm. we didn't knock them off, uh, but it gave us tremendous experience for the future, and we're really gonna use that experience going into next, next season. If it's any consolation, they continue to be Goliath by beating Michigan in, in the second round. They beat them pretty handily, and now they're headed to the Sweet 16. So that's, I mean, you kind of cheer for them to go all the way, right? After you know, losing to the national champion, ch uh, champion would be great. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I watched that game yesterday and I thought they played much better against Michigan, whether it was because what Michigan mm. wasn't able to do or we just warmed them up a little bit. Um, in that game, though, I felt like if we had turned the ball over maybe three or four times um, fewer and hit a couple of the wide open shots that we missed, it would have been an even closer contest. But again, I, I can't say enough for the girls. It's 10,000 people in that arena. It was home court advantage. Yeah. Um, and our kids weren't intimidated whatsoever. And I think that we really, those, those young women really made Hawaii proud. And knocking girls around all year long. Uh, the, graduate and stu the graduate student, Cal, 13 points in, in the game, five rebounds. Um, two years as a Rainbow Wahine. Your, just your thoughts on your career. You know, I'm forever thankful that Coach B and our coaching staff took a chance on me to allow me to come here and be a graduate student and be a player. And it's been an honor to wear the green and white and again bring back two back-to-back -back tournament championships was more than I could have ever dreamed. Um, being embraced by the community of the island too has been mm -hmm. truly incredible and <laughs> these last two years are going to be two of the best of my life. Favorite food while you're here in Hawaii the last couple oh years? Gosh. So many great different kinds of foods. I love the shave ice. I love Portuguese sausage. That's my new Yeah, favorite. there we go. Is um, shave ice food? I, no, it, it, for a college student, for I suppose team. it is. There you go. <laughs> uh, poke? I've never been a big fish fan, but I've heard the poke is delicious here. Oh, okay. Well, uh, you, you did have an amazing two-year run here, um, and one of only two players to start every game. What's next for you? What's next is I'm going to be pursuing professional ball. So Coach yeah. B and I have been having some conversations, and so I'm going to see how far basketball can take me, which I'm really excited to do. So we'll see what that looks like. Now that the season's wrapped up, I guess we can have those conversations now. <laughs> we should have a nice long talk with uh, uh, last week's guest on the show and this year's induct uh, inductee into the Circle of Honor, Nani Cockett, would mm -hmm. be a great person to talk to. For sure. Um, Coach, you guys are planning uh, on celebrating? How are you guys, how are you guys going to do that? Well, we have a couple different celebrations. You know, we're trying to find a date to do our ring ceremony. Yeah. Um, and we'd love that to be not only a celebration, but a little bit of a fundraiser for the team. That's something that, you know, we need to improve upon as our fundraising. Since COVID, it's been difficult. Um, and then our banquet, April mm -hmm. 7th at the Japanese Cultural Center. I believe it's a six o'clock start. Um, obviously, they can reach out to Jason Hill, our director of operations, or Eric Matthews, um, SID. 
um, you know. Where is Eric anyway? Isn't yeah. he supposed to be here? <laughs> He's sleeping in, I'm sure. <laughs> go, guys, go. Uh, yeah. um, you know, and that would be just a great way of honoring this team at our mm -hmm. banquet. And it's just, our banquets are very, very atypical. We have the girls talk about each other. Um, we do a great video. Um, kind of recapping the season, and it's just a time to do uh, to, to celebrate again um, each other, and, and the fans can get really close to the kids. When does the work begin again? Because I'm sure recruiting probably <laughs> already started, and this I'm sure helps. Yeah, the recruiting doesn't stop. I was sharing with Callum before we came on air that we were receiving so many inquiries about the portal, and just you know, kids that haven't signed yet going into 24, 25. Also, I think I have to hit the road next week and do some home visits. Mm. So recruiting never stops. Um, obviously, we're looking for the right fit. I believe that's what you know, really allowed us to go back to back was the culture in our locker room, which started when Callan and McKenna Hare showed up last year and just cleaned up our locker room. And that has, you know, continued to um, present itself this year. Uh, we have to go recruit the right kids. We want to represent Hawaii the right way. Yeah, well, you guys have done a fabulous job. So thank, thank you. you so much for stopping by. I know that the media tour probably won't stop for you guys. <laughs> Good luck to you. Thank you. Um, and keep us keep in touch with us. Oh, for Let sure. Let us know how you're doing. And I'm sure we'll have all of that from Rob DeMello and Alan Hoshida. And Coach, uh, good luck. Thank you. Appreciate you. Appreciate thank it. you.